up, guys? Let's learn something today on Tech Tip Tuesday. What's up guys? It's uh, Saturday night, supposed to be Z-Max driveway. I rushed home because we had a little work to do here on the scoop. Just ran a personal base on mile per hour, but somebody had jumped on our car that's not on our team um, and yanked on the scoop and it busted. So 265 was actually going to come off the car. So rushed home. Thanks to uh, friends of mine, Travis and Jeff. We got this thing patched up. Well, I'm going to show you what we did to patch it up real quick. I also had to cut a new windshield because it cracked. So I'll um, get all that done. We're gonna rush back to Z-Max Dragway to finish up. We got first round tomorrow morning uh, of four wide, and we're gonna see if we can win this thing. After all, we're gonna do whatever it takes to win. So we've been working hard, learning, and we'll keep progressing. But let's show you how we fix the carbon fiber here on the scoop, so we can get repaired and get back on the car. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So here's the scoop. This is actually before it got worse. This is when they jumped on the car and, and pulled it. Uh, don't. Don't really know why we question them about it. But anyway, when we hit the higher mile per hour, we went 20 mile an hour faster and that just destroyed it. So we come home and we just began laying down some carbon fiber. Here we're laying on the resin. So after you mix this resin up, you want to press it down in this material really well. So this is carbon and we're just trying to get the resin to really permeate through it. Um, I'll actually flip it over and permeate it through the other side so this is completely full of this resin. Now this resin is a two part resin, much like fiberglass. And it takes, um, you know, two parts. You got your resin and you got your hardener. Um, be sure and check with whatever the manufacturer is. Cause I've had resins that mixed 100 parts of resin to just one part of hardener. And then this actually mixed two to one. So um, there's, you have to make sure you're mixing stuff to the manufacturers specifications and here jeff's helping me he's brushing on the resin onto the carbon that i've already ground down i used some 60 grit and roughed it up the tape line here is just to keep us from spreading and getting the resin all over the rest of the scoop just to help control that so he's just getting it wet for me so that when i lay this other sheet on there it'll it'll adhere really well and again we've got this completely permeated with resin and then we'll just begin to lay the carbon here on the scoop and just we're just going to go around the whole base and just try to really um, repair this damage um, i'm doing two layers so it'll take a little bit of time but again we're just going to lay it on here take our time and at the same time we're trying to hurry up because i have to be back at the racetrack just lay the carbon down nice and neat you're trying to keep that grain straight so it has a good look to it you don't want to be all jacked up and crooked and wavy, so just lay it on there and just take your time. And then once it's on there, you want to press that resin all the way through the surface. So you see here, I'm pressing it tight. The smooth you get, the better off you're gonna be. Now it's time to put on this other side. So we're gonna to have to get the resin packed in on this other piece of carbon. We're gonna flip the scoop over and apply it. And we're just gonna do this twice. So two times around, two layers. And we're just trying to build strength because we don't want this thing to be damaged anymore we don't want to fly off going out of track and that area doesn't really like that too much so keeping parts on your car is a good thing so we're just again pressing that resin down in there and then we're going to apply it to this other side Might 
Now, if you see here, I've just got laid on a piece of Luan wood. Um, just any flat surface that's clean to help keep the, the material clean. You don't want to use dirty metal or anything because it's just going to soak that dirt right up into the into the carbon through the resin. So you want a clean surface, good clean prep surface to prep your work and a good clean prep surface to apply your work. So here I'm trying to make sure I get my overlap on the front, just overlap the other side or the material we laid earlier, just to get it overlapped a little bit, gives it more strength. And again, just lay it down as straight and smooth as possible. And then take your spreader and just really press that resin down through there and get it nice and smooth. What I'm trying to do here is a couple little air bubbles. I'm just trying to get those pressed out. So I'm sweeping them out to the sides. Just want it to be nice and smooth and, and straight. The smoother you get it now, the better it'll be. So if you got your layers on, you know, we put two layers on, we've staggered our sizes. Um, you want the top layer to be an inch or so wider than your bottom. It gives it that gradual flow process so you don't have just a big edge. And what we're doing here, we're putting on a material called peel ply, or I call it wax cloth. And what this does, it just, it traps the resin into the carbon. So if you just let the carbon cure without this, it's gonna have that rough texture, kind of like you would with fiberglass if you just left it laying. But this actually helps you pack in the resin. And what I do is I brush a little bit of that resin on the outside. You'll see Jeff apply some here. But I put a little bit on the outside, and what that does, that helps it to just smooth out better, helps your spreader to, to glide along the surface. And it helps you to push those air bubbles out of the surface as you wrap this repair into the pill ply. You can see inside the scoop there where I, re I braced it with some angle. That's just to keep everything straight. I was trying to tie where it was cracked back together. Um, it's just got some pop rivets in it. So when we're done, I actually use the holes that were used for the mounts for the scoop. We'll just drill these pop rivets out and then I will know our scoop is will fit the manifold like we had it before. <laughs> just take your time on the peel ply. Just, you know, you want to make sure you get these air bubbles out. Um, if you do have an air bubble, it's going to have like a, a rough spot in your carbon, and that's not what you're looking for. Again, we're kind of rushing on this, but we still want to look halfway decent um, going down the track and being in the pits and stuff. I had an air bubble trapped in there, so I just peeled it back and pushed it out. And this is just coming around the back side. And what I've done, I've turned the scoop up on the stand and propped it up. It was a little easier to manage for me. Now, I don't really recommend this, but since I was in a hurry, I stuck a heat gun inside of the scoop. And I put this panel up top, and you can see I left a little room for the heat to escape. But I'm just basically trying to rush this thing to get it to, to dry. 
I got home, we got this thing fixed in about an hour and a half, um, and I let it cure while I went to go grab something to eat at the house. And then the next morning, everything's dry. You can see how easy the peel ply just pulls off. Um, you just pull it off. And you can see how the resin is just embedded inside of that, that carbon there. Now you can see how embedded this resin is. It's nice and smooth. It is more of a dull finish than if you had it in a mold because of this peel ply or wax paper. You know, you can repair this work and actually come back and sand it a little bit without tearing into the carbon and then put a clear coat over it to make it match the rest. You can see here on the front side of this scoop is where I got too much heat just trying to rush it. That's why I said I wouldn't recommend it. It caused a little air bubble, which caused it not to be smooth. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tech Tip Tuesday, and I'll catch you next time.